So in this video, we're going to do some of the first parts of the expenditure cycle. There are a couple different ways to enter bills. Uh, they're up here in the vendors area. And so these are things that we are entering a bill and not paying right away. If we were paying something right away, we would just go ahead and write a check. But if we're getting a bill and we're going to pay it later, we want to go here to vendors because we want to record that in accounts payable. I want to make note there are two different bills. So you use the enter bills for items that are not inventory. So not things that we're going to sell later. If we've received items into inventory, we want to use the enter bills against inventory. Okay, so with inv without inventory, against inventory. So if we're receiving it, then we want to go ahead and enter the bill against inventory. So for this one, it's advertising. So we haven't received any physical goods. I'm going to type in Willis Advertising. And you'll notice it is not in our drop down. So it's going to give us a prompt saying, do you want to add to the vendor list? I'm just going to do a quick add that will enter the basic information. I will want to go back later and add the address and all the other information in there. We're going to type in the invoice number of what we received and the amount due is $1,500. So down here, we go ahead and enter in our expense information. So this one, we're going to start with printing, but there, that's $1,450. Now, the rest of the bill was made up of freight. So we're going to go with freight and delivery, and that's the remaining $50. let us go ahead and save and close. Now let's go ahead and look at the vendor in the vendor center. I'm going to click on vendor here. Reminder, you can go also up here on the toolbar or the menu bar. And if we look, scroll down, and there's our Willis advertising. We can see that there is one bill entered in on the date from that we had on the enter we entered. All right, so let's go ahead and close this. Now, for either type of bill, we can go ahead and pay bill. Once again, only use this if it's recorded in accounts payable. Use this if you're writing a check uh, and paying something instantly. So let's just pay that bill. We're going to select Willis Advertising. We're only going to select that one. And we're going to pay the full $1,500. So we're going to just say pay selected bills. We don't have a discount uh, set up for that one. So I'm going to go ahead and say pay. And we can put in the check number, or I'm just going to let QuickBooks assign the check number and click OK. And that's all we want to do for right now. So I'm going to say done. And let's just look at the check register. And if we make this a little larger, it'll be easier to find. Here's our bill, our check that we wrote out to Willis Advertising. All right, let's do one with a discount. So let's go back to pay bills. And this time we are going to pay Hamlin Metal. If you wanted to sort, you can actually sort by this discount date. And uh, right here, sort by discount date. And I'm going to select Hamlin Metal. You can see that uh, we're before that discount date. I'm going to go ahead and say set discount. And we are going to um, select discount, purchase discounts. There we go. There it is. I'm going to say done. And that's the only one that we're going to pay at this time. We could pay multiple, and then you scroll through these to uh, pick the discounts for each. So let's go ahead and pay the bill. I'm going to have QuickBooks assign the check numbers. And we are done. OK, so let's just go ahead and look at the Vendor Center. So if we go to Hamlin. We can see the check there. Uh, we can see what the accounts payable, what the checking was, and that uh, you know affects the discount. 
So that's all we need to enter for right now. Uh, the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about inventory items and receiving those. I hope this was helpful and I hope you join us for the next one. Thank you.